Oh, we woke you here and welcome to episode 2 of my top 3 Android apps. Um, don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section down below. Recommend me some more applications and let's get this thing started. The first thing we're going to be taking a look at is Circle Launcher. Um, what this is, it's, it's a pretty cool um, launcher. Let me just get it loaded up. This is a one by one grid. Let's have it right here, for example. And then it brings you up into your settings so you can customize them. What it is, is you can launch applications. So when you press the widget, it automatically brings up like a ring of all the applications that you want in there. So say for example, you could have one just for games, one for news, uh, one for your favorite apps, one for cameras and you know, different uh, categories or whatever you want or even your favorite applications. So first of all, you can pick your launcher type, show apps. You can pick what apps you want selected. So let's just pick a few games. Put a few games in there, let's put burger in there. Yes. Let's put some random applications in there as well. Once you're done, you could go back, we're gonna pick the launcher style, you could circle, horizontal and pick circle, label widgets, you can pick anything you want. So say for example we're gonna pick games. You could pick the widget icon so you could actually customize up the style. You can see all the different kind of styles that they have. I'm going to pick this one. You can actually change the uh, background, dimming, insta. You could, there's a bunch of different settings. I'm just going to show you it. So we're going to go back. And then you have a little icon there that says games. And like I said, once you tap it, it brings up a nice ring of all the applications that you chose. And if you wanted to open it up, you just tap on it. And it automatically, automatically takes you straight into the application. And of course, I also had some more set up here, so you could have one for news, just just an example. And you could have games, look, I've got all of these different games here, and you could actually have them and open them up, any one that you want. So you could actually glide your finger over and it kind of enlarge and so you know which one you're pressing. And it's pretty cool, you could actually change up the colour, you could change up the text, you could change up the design. And instead of like having folders, these um, widgets can replace your folders and you know make it look a lot nicer. So it could replace these different folders I have on my screen. Actually, I actually haven't got around to doing it yet, but it can. It's a pretty cool um, widget, definitely go check this one out. Um, it's completely free from the Play Store. The next application we're taking a look at is Pinball Arcade. This is a pretty nice pinball game. It really does have a nice arcade feel to it. You can see the graphics and how the pinball machine is. It really has this nice arcade feel to it. There are many different tables you can pick from and download. Um, this is the trial version, but you can pay for different boards. So we're just going to start it up. You can see you got the you can put the coins and everything, you can pull back this little lever. And you could tap on the left or right of the screen to actually operate the flippers. And just rack up as much points as you can. Um each table is different, has different features. So it's pretty cool. Um the gameplay itself is pretty good. You got this nice little screen up there that tells you how much points and what's going on. Let's launch the ball again. But one thing I did notice is the ball tends to drop straight in the middle of um, which happens with some of these pinball games instead of actually going to the flippers it just goes straight down in the middle and there's literally no way of hitting it that's the only issue that I've experienced with this game but other than that it's still a pretty good game and there's a lot of stuff and that you could do with it like I said if you don't like this level there's much um, a lot of different levels that you could um, pick and choose from um, this one's completely free but if you want it, if you want them um, additional tables and add-ons and stuff like that you do have to pay for it so just bear that in mind but it's still one of the better pinball applications I've tried on the marketplace and the graphics are arcadey it's not sharp but it's nice and arcadey and it has that nice arcade feel to it but anyway this is just a quick look at this um, pinball game definitely go check this out if you like pinball you definitely enjoy it and yep you can pick this one up free from the google play store um, this application is gun bros 2 this is the second version to the original gun bros if you ever played that before um, basically you play through different waves of enemies and you just shoot and kill them you have different weapons they could upgrade to and buy and you can see the graphics are pretty nice and sharp much um, improved over the last one and you do have those barrels that you could shoot and they explode and cause more damage there are different enemies that you could um, shoot as you progress and you've got these two controls here the left one is to move the character about and the right one is to um, choose which direction you want to shoot in 
so then you just have to get through all the waves in each level we've got a boss that's over there which I need to try and avoid oops he got him and then I did notice every now and then there was a little bit of lag I'm not sure why just a, a hiccup of lag maybe when there's an explosion but this may not be the case for every single device and yeah overall it's a great game to play to kill some time and see how far you can get and how much waves you can actually complete and you can see what the graphics look like pretty sharp and it has this nice arcadey feel to it but anyway this is just a quick look at gun bros 2 um if you're interested in these type of games you know you want to have a bit of fun with these uh games upgraded weapons and stuff like that definitely go check this one out it's pretty good and you can pick this one up completely free from the google play store and just to wrap up the last thing we're going to be taking a look at is wallpaper the wallpaper we're going to be taking a look at is moonlight live wallpaper so you can see what it looks like it has a big big moon in the background with stars sparkling and you've got the trees kind of like in this nice forest scene you can go into settings you could adjust the weather so you've got all of these different options you've got snow rain let's take a look at what rain looks like you can see you've got the clouds and you've got the rains <laughs> it looks very very sharp like the detail on the rain looks very sharp I want to kind of want to see what snow looks like. You can see snow, and you, they've actually put the snow on the trees at the bottom as well. And you've got the big snowflakes, the smaller ones, the different sizes, and stuff like that. And let's take a look at storm. Yeah, and you got the nice thunder coming across. I think I might keep that one. You got um, different ones as well. You could change the backgrounds. You could change the moon, you could change the animations, utilities. You've got a bunch of different stuff you could um, customize. This is the free version, I think there's a paid version as well. So this is what the live wallpaper looks like. You can see how it looks. You've got the nice rain and every now and then you've got the thunder kind of striking in. Um, I'm not sure, I think there might be... I think it's the wallpaper itself that's maybe a little bit stuttery. It's not as smooth as other live wallpapers. But it's still a great live wallpaper with um, nice clean uh, graphics. Definitely go check this one. If you're looking for a nice live wallpaper to show off, it definitely looks great. And you could customize it. If you don't want the thunder one, you could um, change it to the snow one. Change the moon, the trees in the background, all of that good stuff. Definitely go check this one out. And yeah, that's about it for the video. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section down below. Do you like it? Um, recommend me some applications for the next video. Also, subscribe if you want to see more, and thanks for watching. Peace.